Welcome back to Let's Play Neverwinter Nights 2, Mask of the Betrayer. This is Big Los. And off camera, we came all the way to the entrance with Gulkash. So we're going to go face her right now. Oh, sleep. Sleeping dream. Dreaming. <laughs> that voice, it's haunting. Insane. This creature's laughter is what we heard throughout this game. Be careful. Madness and power dance within her. There is something about her. Beneath the mask she is wearing is a face I feel I have seen many times before, but... Ah, another lucky one. Lucky to no sleep, to no dreams. My gift to you, eternal slumber. Yes, and you might dream too. You might. Wait, I just want to talk. Okay, I didn't know it was pronounced Skane. That's what I get for not having any voice acting until this point. It's not pronounced for me, so... Yeah, I can see why it's pronounced Skane. You know, the E-I-N, kind of like Vein. V-E-I-N. Alright, that's my bad. Whatevers. Alright, so let's just attack Gulkosh with all that we got. Let's see, I don't really want to use prayer right now. I want to conserve that. Let's see, why don't we do a silence? Yeah, because she is a hag. She does like to cast spells. Let's Let's see if that'll work. And I did have Gan summon in a level swarm. Yeah, sneak attacks. Love it. Oh. Okay, notice that we lost a party member. We lost Sophia. But she's still there. But now we have the attack icon over her. So, looks like Sevilla has probably been possessed. So now we have to attack Sophia. And get Sophia's HP down. And then, once that succeeds, she'll come back with one hit point left. And then we'll have Kaylin do a heal. And then we'll just have the captain finish her off. Shouldn't take too long. Now with the fiery void. Done. Enough. This blood of mine you've spilled has loosened insanity's grip on me. For now. I do not wish to die. Though it would bring an end to the punishment I've endured for my crimes. My crimes! <laughs> what were your crimes? I violated the sisterhood, broke the sacred laws of Gerganus. I took a man as my lover, and I loved him. Oh, how I loved him. I kept this love hidden, told my sisters I was just toying with him, just toying a little longer. But I let him escape and fooled my sisters with the desiccated corpse of some other man. They remained ignorant of my terrible crime until I birthed the product of our love. Then they found my beloved and made me devour him alive in front of his son. Even as they forced chunks of his flesh down my throat, he smiled at me, at our child. So beautiful like his father was my son, Ganeev. You... you are my mother. So, my son has returned, and he has brought violence against me. Will you murder your mother? Is this the homecoming you have sought? You abandoned me. Cast me to the wilds of Roshaman. Abandoned? Implies I had a choice in the matter, my child. I had but one choice, and that was to love your father. What does a hag such as you know of love? More than you, I think, child. Have you not drifted from creature to creature, spirit to spirit, finding no dream that has touched you? 
You know what I speak of is true, Ganaev. Gan of dream, spirit of Russian. Do not waste much short time we have together with protests and accusations. You speak as if your words are truth, but you know nothing of me, of my life. I know you have dreamed of the city beneath the waves, and your travels have circled it all your life, until now, until the time has come to destroy it. It was ordained we speak this one last time, my dear Gan. It is the one hope that has cradled me in this prison. You. You are a creature of lies, spawned from lies. And you, my beautiful child, are far more terrible. To be spawned from the love of a hag. By such things are cities and nations laid to ruins. Do you wish to see the proof of my claims? I think we should hear her out. All right. I admit I have my doubts. But if you do not, that is enough for me. My words you should hear. There are others who deserve your hatred far more. The coven who sleep here, they must be awakened and with violence. Send the coven to join your father who drifts in the rivers of the dead. Show them at last the horror that the love of a mother and her son can bring to their dreams. The voices echo through my mind, and the insanity will soon reclaim me. Take from me my eye. I will need it no longer. Use it in your travels. Use it against the coven. Now leave me. The escape you seek is ahead. I do not know how much longer I can maintain my sanity. The voices in my mind are a cacophony. Then hear my voice this last time, Mother. Where I walk, you shall be with me until the end days. We shall be together again. My son, my precious son, can he, does he dream of me, my son? You have gained the dream haunting ability. Dream haunting enables you to enter the dreams of anyone who is sleeping. If you have companions in your party who also have the ability to haunt dreams, they will join you in the dreamscape. Well, I wonder who that is. Yes. Alright, and we did get a level up for Sophia. Looks like she's got some ability damage too, but let's level her up. Of course, we can only do wizard, and let's recommend her skills. And then we get two more spells to pick. Now, if you do recommend, I think it's only going to choose two level 8 spells, and I think Blackstaff is always going to be one of them, even though I don't like Blackstaff. I don't even really use staves that much. See, there it is there. And Iron Body. I don't really use Iron Body either, because I like to use Premonition. Iron Body just kind of slows you down. Alright, let's not do that one. Let's do Horrid Wilting. That's always pretty useful. I don't know about Greater Shout, though. Mm, I don't know. What about Power Word Stun? Well, that's useless to anything over 150 hit points, which is what we're going to be facing. So let's see if there's anything better. Power Word Blind is useless for anything over 200 hit points. Which we seem to be facing a lot lately. Creatures with hit points that high. Let's see, Globe of Invulnerability. Mm. Mass Bull Strength, Tensors, Transformation. That would only be good if used on Sophia. Superior Resistance. Well, that only works against one. Yeah. Mass bull strength. What about over here, level 5? Anything good here? Well, we don't need the lesser versions of those spells. We've got the full versions. Well, let's see. You know what? Maybe we'll just pick fear. 
just in case we want to craft something that gives fear, we're going to need that spell. Yeah, I think I should look up what spells we're going to need for whatever crafting and then just pick those in the future. I shall lead. All right, so now let's do a lesser restoration on Sophia. Get rid of her ability Hold damage. Up, I think you've mistaken me for a horse and wagon. All right, and she so. is no longer encumbered, so that's pretty good. Gokosh is gone, and I feel loss. All that time wasted in judging her for something she had not done. She did the exact opposite of what I had believed all my life. Felt the exact opposite. She loved me and loved my father. I believe she did, yes. How much of such dreams and hopes are left unsaid between others? And how many could be saved or healed by such knowledge? If I am ever to love, I will speak of it. This is my promise. The first vow I have ever made. And if I am loved in return, then it shall only be the first vow of many. Um, okay. I had questions for you. Of course. Ask what you will, and I will do my best to answer. Eh, you know what? Never mind, but let's talk to you again. No doubt you have questions. But first, there is something I must share with you. Whether you know it or not, you have bestowed a gift upon me. We share the same direction of thought, and that has created a resonance between us. Perhaps you have felt it already, but Rashomon responds to such strength, infusing us with its power. It sees us as kindred allies in this journey. I gave you a gift? I don't remember giving you a gift. Whether you realize it or not, the power of the land, even dreams, have become tied to you. We can now speak with their voice, and it is a powerful gift. Some are only gifted with a dreamer's eye, but to be given a dreamer's voice. It is one of the rarest of gifts. Spirits of others will be clearer and sharper to you, and you may begin to see their dreams and their intent far easier than their mere surface appearance. Is my dreamer's eye now closed? No. If anything, it is strengthened, though the voice will absorb its power and shape it into something else. You will find that you can see even more clearly than before, and better, speak more clearly of what you see. I accept this gift, gladly. The skin of others around you will seem as dingy cloaks compared to what you can see of their thoughts and their nature. You will now see what truly lies within others what they dream of becoming, and if you wish, how to coax such passions forth. And for your enemies, such perceptions can allow you to drink deep of their spirits, more so than before. Even should we grow apart or go our separate ways, the dreamer's voice will remain. Once given, it cannot be taken back. Based on Gan's influence status with you devoted, you have gained the influence-based feat Dreamer's voice, giving you a bonus to your charisma and your spirit powers. Alright, never mind. Let's move on. Or let's continue on. And let's check out this feat that we just got. Should be near the bottom here. Oh, there it is. Dreamer's voice. Yeah, okay. Let's go down here. We get plus two to charisma. We get plus... 10% bonus to Devour Spirit ability. Well, that's pretty good. That means we get... Oh, and we get a plus one to our charisma for being an honorary Jarl. Okay, so we should have, like, three extra points to charisma. And our charisma now is at 23. So that's pretty good. I think when we started... It was a 12, and then when we put on the Nymph Cloak plus 8, it was a 20, now it's 23. Yes, how may I help? Do you have anything to say? No? What about you? If there's something I can do for you, just ask. I guess not. Okay. Let us... This is the door that you would exit, 
I believe, if you slew or slayed the Earth Elemental. And the exit is going to be to our left, since we didn't slay the Earth Elemental. It's going to go down into a formerly flooded area. But first, we're going to go back and talk to the Sleeper, because we got something called the Hag's Eye. And we can't go through this door. That only opens if you have slayed the Earth Elemental holding this place up. Now, the Hag's Eye will allow us to enter people's dreams. And since we have Gan in our party, he'll be able to join us. So let's go on up here, and then we gotta go all the way back to where the Sleeper is. Fortunately, we have defeated pretty much all the enemies in here, so there's not going to be any encounters. So we can go from point A to point B without any fear of fighting anything. It's only if we go into a new unexplored area we will run into something. Alright, so here's the door. Let's go in here and... Well, looks like Gulkosh isn't... Uh, wait a minute. What are you guys doing over there? I think I'm going to need you again. Let's talk to this guy. Let's see. You know, Gulkosh is gone, right? Well, I guess you don't really care. You don't change what you're saying. What about you? Greetings. I guess none of these guys change what they're saying. It's a long day. Yeah, okay. Well, I do want to yes. talk to the sleeper now, but Gan seems to be going really slow. I don't know why. I guess his persistent haste got dispelled just like everyone else's but the captain. I believe so. Because I'm not seeing the haste modifier on anyone else. Alright, so since we're here, let's talk to the sleeper. The sleeper sits here quiet and unresponsive, so let's do dream haunting and enter the sleeper's dream. Ready again? Let's do it. As you enter the sleeper's dream, you feel you are spinning madly, though you are standing perfectly still. And here we go. Okay, looks like we are in... Looks like a cell. Rather large cell, but a cell nonetheless in some type of tower. Here's the sleeper. Another aspect of the nightmare, this time in an unfamiliar face. What new torments do you bring? Nightmare? They come in many forms, many forms. All of them terrible, one and all. I'm not here to torment you. So you say, so you say, but I will wait cautiously and brace myself for your abuse. Just answer me this. How is my torment justified? What is my crime? What have I done except walk in dreams of others? I was born with this ability. If the hags wish the dreams to be their sovereign province, then why not just kill me? Let's see. I'm here to rescue you. Rescue? Ha! The coven would never release me. Never. The only way to release me is to destroy the coven. And that can never be. Um, why can't the coven be destroyed? To end the coven would be to destroy centuries of collected knowledge. Such great knowledge, even in the hands of the coven, must be preserved. Are you serious? The only way to, to rescue me is to kill me. Find where my body lays dreaming and snuff me out. Do it! I beg you! I'm not gonna kill you. Kill me! Just kill me! And that gives us a point towards the good, and we get 500 XP. And all she does is say, kill me. Let's see, does Gan have anything to say about it? And how may I honor you? I don't know. Of course. Ask what you will, and I will do my best to answer. I guess you don't have anything to say about it. Okay. 
Well, let's continue on. The portal will return you to the sleeper's body in the skein. Let's enter the portal. Yes, I know it's pronounced skein. Okay. I only recently learned that. Stupid English language. Alright. So if you talk to her again, you still have the option to slay her, or you could enter her dream again. But like she said, the only way to free her would be to destroy the coven. And for some reason, she doesn't want that because she says it'll destroy all the collected knowledge. But you know what? We're chaotic. You know, we don't really care about that. We're going to go destroy the coven. But first, we got to make our way out of here. So let's go back to where Gulkash was. So we got to go down those stairs again into that previously flooded area and then go back up to that central platform. No, we gotta go through one more doorway. Yeah, here we go. Yeah, let's go over here. Then we'll go down here and... Alright, we gotta go over to this little corridor and then we go up these stairs. And our spirit energy is getting down to 82, so we should probably feed pretty soon. So hopefully there's a elemental somewhere. Oh, looks like another golem. So we got the weather-resistant golem torso. Let's check this thing out. It gives damage immunity to acid, cold, electricity, and fire. Magic wards carved directly into this golem torso carry enchantments. That's good. Okay, we'll just give that to Sophia and let's check out this body. We get a couple of gems and a little over 9,400 gold pieces. Oh, looks like we got some elementals. All right. Well, let's go devour the spirit of one of them, shall we? I wonder what spell they cast that... Makes the captain... See, there he goes, failing a save again by rolling a 1. I hate that. Even if he rolls a 2, he still saves. For some reason, we roll a lot of 1s. I don't understand why, but whatevs. And now the captain can't even attack because he's suffering from some type of... being stunned, I think. It doesn't even show up because I think you're allowed a maximum of 12 little icons for status modifications, and we're already up to 12. We could be already past that, bro, I know. So I guess we'll have Kaylin get this thing down, and I do believe we can still use the Devourer Spirit, even if the captain is stunned. Oh, oh oops. Looks like he did a little too much damage there since he recovered. All right, well, we got two left. And that's... That Elemental seems to do a good job at knocking down Kaylin. Alright, looks like it's down to barely wounded. Let's try to not do so much damage. In fact, you know what? It might be good to remove the fiery void. Okay, there we go. Now let's devour the spirit and we'll get our spirit energy back up to 100%. There it goes, and we get another volatile spirit essence. Get a hundred gold, and then we will use the fiery void to take this thing out. Alright, there it goes, and where are my other two party members? Let's grab all these treasure bags here with these essences. Let's see, we got another one here, okay. Where are you guys? Wait a minute, why are you guys are stuck behind this follow door? Us? You didn't know to follow me? Or were you too slow and then when I went past here, you automatically went to this door that cannot be opened? Hmm? What happens if I have you guys click over here? Nothing happens. Yeah, okay. Well, I guess we will have no choice. Come this way. But to... I guess just go to the exit. And then once we go through the exit, it'll assemble it'll assemble the entire party all in one spot. Okay, we've already been over there. That's like a window. 
Now, this door leads to another area where you would come in if you would have slayed the Earth Elemental. This is the alternate exit. And I do believe that something right here falls down and creates a place for you to walk across. But I'm not really sure. It's been a while since I actually went that path. So let's go up here and it opens the door and it's going to take us back to Covea Kurganis and then we can catch up with Mistress and tell her all the good times that we had back in the Skane. But first, we're going to save the game and then we are going to do it all in the next episode. Will we be able to meet the Slumbering Coven? Find out next time. This is Big Lowe signing off. Thanks for watching. See you next time. And Tanga Umbandia.